The fur auction houses have every animal that can be sold for their fur, from coyotes, beavers, and bears, to muskrats, bobcats, and wolverines. But one thing those auctions also have are boxes and boxes of improperly handled pelts. Pelts whose value was ruined because of improper handling. Because of these inferior pelts with defects. Auction houses have many tips and tricks to help trappers do a better job at processing their animals. Today's video will explain the tips and tricks to get the most money out of your muskrat furs. All info can be found in the official publication for Fur Harvester Auctions Incorporated Pelt Handling for Profit. Before we get to today's information, I'd like to take a moment to ask you all to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Every subscription and view helps us out and gives us the opportunity to make more videos for you all. Every comment and like gets us noticed by the YouTube algorithm and helps us reach more people. Now back to the video. Muskrats are one of the easiest furs to grade. Basically, muskrat pelts are either good or bad. Despite that, there are all sorts of in-between grades created so they can be bought at a cheaper price. Muskrats are territorial-minded fighting machines. Their teeth are sharp and their pelts are thin, so they cut each other easily. Old scars are capable of reopening when pelts are stretched, which can affect grading. Muskrat dried pelt prices are as follows. 3X are over 17 inches or over 43 centimeters. 2X is 15.5 to 17 inches or 39 to 43 centimeters. 1X is 14 to 15.5 inches or 35.5 to 39 centimeters. Large is 13 to 14 inches or 33 to 35.5 centimeters. Medium is 11.5 to 13 inches or 29 to 33 centimeters. Small is 10 to 11.5 inches or 25 to 29 centimeters. Extra small under 10 inches or under 25 centimeters. The prices between grades are significant. According to the January 2022 Idaho Trapper Association's fur auction, 476 muskrats were offered with the average price per pelt was $3.77. But for those fully primed select furs, a max of $5.56 were had per pelt. This difference in pelt quality and price was significant at a 47.5% increase in value from an average to select pelt. This proves that if a trapper treats their pelt well, a great price can be a great reward. There are a few tricks to getting the top lot for your muskrats. Number one, prepare the skin by either laying the muskrat on its back or by hanging it from its tail from overhead with its tail nearest to your knife hand. Grasp the right foot and make a straight cut from the base of the heel to the tail. Continue to push the knife through the underside of the tail and cut up leaving one to one and a half inch of the tail attached to the belly fur. Turn the muskrat around and repeat the procedure meeting at the tail incision. The one to one and a half inch of tail left on the skirt of the belly prevents the pelt from tearing when it is mounted on the wire stretcher. Free the backside of the muskrat, leaving the same amount of the tail skin as done on the underside. Now with these cuts completed, work your hand up to the back between the pelt and the flesh. Work the pelt over the head, cutting the ears close to the skull, and take care around the eyes and mouth. Next, pull the front feet through the pelt and carefully work the pelt away from the belly down to the tail. Only excess Fat and meat should be removed. The saddle must be left on. Removal of the saddle will leave your rats papery and with less value. It is recommended to use wire stretchers as it makes each muskrat a uniform fit. However, wooden stretchers can be used as well. As with all pelts, make sure the pelt is centered properly on the stretcher. Pull the pelt down snugly on the wire frame. Insert the tension hooks on the tail leather. Put most of the pressure on the belly hook. This keeps the pelt nice and snug on the stretcher, yet allows the back when the fur is graded to be left loose so overstretching is reduced. 
Make sure the nose does not slip over the end of the stretcher. Use clothespins or a nail through the nose. Wipe off excess grease with a paper towel or cloth. Thanks for watching this episode of Outdoor Experiences. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe. As a note, we do have affiliate links in the description of the equipment that we use in our videos if you'd like to start making your own outdoor experiences. Thank you again for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.